Hello and welcome survivors to another episode of the Streamcast. I'm Bucky Warrior from Red Shield Game and today let's take a dive into the different categories of games out there in the market. Let's start off with the ones that we are most familiar with, say mobile game, which stands for Multiplayer Online Battle Arena. In this category, we pit two different teams of people against each other, battling out, eliminating each other, and destroying their bases, structures, and buildings. Then moving on to another category, we have also another fan favorite called Battle Royale. So in this game mode, we pit large number of players in an open world, say a hundred of them, running around, scavenging for items, for weapons and armor, and killing each other until there's only one person left or one team left to conquer the entire battlefield. In terms of your shooting games, you have your first-person games like Counter-Strike, and there's also third-person shooting games, TPS, like your Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Then there's RPG games, such as the Witcher series, and also your Fallout series. Then another type of category of games that you can look out for is strategy games, like XCOM, your Crusader Kings, or your Total War. Then there's Sims, not the Sims where you control people about their lives and things like that. No, what I'm talking about are simulators like Flight Simulator and Arma 3, a military simulator. There's arcade games like, you know, you go to the arcade, there's some shooting games like that where you can hop in and out. Then you have MMO games, your massively multiplayer online games. It's a category of games that has hundreds or thousands of players playing the game concurrently in the server real time. There are also indie games where independent or small size development teams create a game without the funding of big game corporations. Red Shield Games is considered as an indie games developer because of a small team of developers and the independence from big game companies. We like to think being an indie games developer is the best way to create fun and enjoyable games for gamers out there. Without a corporate entity out there, developers can forget about the corporate politics, but instead focus their time and energy into developing a game, making it a labor of love. Interactions between fans and developers will be more sincere as developers treat the fans with utmost respect instead of cash cows being milked for their money. We really want to make Rap Shoe Games a revolutionary game and show developers out there that working together with the community to develop games is the best way to go, especially in the gamefi industry. If you're interested to learn more about our upcoming turn-based RPG game, Red Shield Games, you can head over to our website at redshield.game or you can just drop by our Discord, link in the description to have a chat with the developers and also our wonderful community. Thanks for watching this episode of Streamcast about the categories of games. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next Streamcast. Ducky out.